Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about the content publish process and sidekick. Before this tutorial, I will highly recommend you to go back and check tutorial number three of this series where we were able to create content in our own Google Drive and we were able to update the path or our own Google Drive in GitHub. But when we try to access that page, it gave 404. So what was the reason for it that I have already explained, but for the sake of understanding, let me explain here as well. So what happened? Because I have installed a code sync app in my GitHub repo. So as soon as the change is made, change made to code, the changes moved to code bus because of that app install. But our content is already staying only in our own Google Drive means authoring. So the content did not move to the content bus. So when the services pipeline services try to render code by taking this configuration. So the configuration was available means the path of the Google Drive was updated, but the content was not there. So that's why it gave 404. So moving content from your Google Drive to content bus or as delivery services called publish. And this publish process is performed by a Chrome extension or the browser extension called Sidekick. So as part of this tutorial, we'll see how to install Sidekick on Chrome or Safari or any other browser. Or and then we'll see what are the options in that sidekick, how you can publish, preview, delete content. So the first task of this process is you have to install sidekick. There is an extension. So that extension is available for Chrome and Safari. This extension is not available for other browser, but there is a manual way how you can install this extension in any browser. So as part of this tutorial, I'll cover only the first one because the purpose of this tutorial to understand, to make you understand the publish process. And later on, later in this series, when I talk about in detail about this sidekick, then we'll see the another process as well, I mean manual process as well. Why sidekick? Obviously, for the publish, you can switch environments. We'll see that you have multiple environments. You can switch among the environments. You can publish and unpublish content, preview content, delete content. So these are the task, different tasks or different options in your sidekick. Uh, URL, I have, as I have already explained, there are three URLs. One for the preview, whatever the, your URL is, means using your branch, repo, and your username. And then path, let's say, when you hit till here, as I already explained, right? When you hit this, it will access your home page. And what is the home page? Index that I will explain. Let's say if you want to access other pages, then you have to define path of those pages, including the name of the document and the name of the folder. That we will see in detail in other tutorial when I will explain the structure of website live is this where dot live comes here and once everything is ready if you're working on actual project then you will map your domain with this content so what are the actions and options you can perform using sidekick preview bulk preview edit reload publish bulk publish copy url unpublish and delete so these kind of tasks you can perform using sidekick now let's get into demo and see how to install and what are the options. So I will show in Google Chrome. So go to the extensions and manage extensions or you can go to the directly to Chrome web store and search for the sidekick or AM sidekick. <clears throat> so you will see in second option, there is an AM sidekick available. Just install this or add to Chrome add extension and you are good to go your extension has been added to chrome you can just restart it once if you want to add that extension it is pinned already right you can pin it here so that you can reuse it every time so now my sidekick has been installed and i have logged into my google drive where my content are now you can pin this so that this can be available now if you open this just right click and so when you right click you will see this option but you won't see an option to add this project so what you can do just open any document and now come here say 
add this to pro uh, add this project and add it or what you can do go here and you can add all the documents so uh, you don't need to add additional so as soon as you add add to this project the all the document of the project has been added and if you are and if you don't see this you will see this option add to project but for all of the documents as soon as I add one it it shows all all the document has been added how you will see that has been added so open this document open whenever you see document and just open it when you click you will see a bar here okay i'm just closing tips here close this you will see a on top you will see a bar here right this one where on the right hand side this is my user obviously anonymous and what you see here is is the options preview and live both are hidden both are disables as of now because until you publish that document right preview means you publish that document until you publish that document the both options will be disabled and here it will show the information right now you see published close let me close this if you open this icon information icon you will see edited at this time my god close this okay oh my god close next step let me close this next step fine do not show never show okay now it's done it's never show now so if you see here on information icon it will oh oh my god let me why it's not getting closed okay so whenever i was clicking on this that that tip kept coming so i just restart browser so now if i open this if you see edited at this time and previewed never publish never right so what you can this is actually the environment switcher when you have local development setup so you will see one more option here for the local development so what you can do here this is my index so let's say preview So when I hit preview, this is available. So this is, has been moved to preview section. So if I open now, if you see there, this is a dot page. Dot page means preview. So earlier I was not able to see that for the preview as well. Even that browser is already open. See, this is 5404. When I hit now, this is available. So preview is available. As soon as you hit preview, the document has been moved to edge delivery services in content bus but in a preview section i will explain in detail there are two sections for now you can understand it's in preview section but still this is only and only on preview so if i hit it again let me show you come here and live live it's a 404 because it's only and only in preview section now i can publish this document now there's a three options again edit reload publish edit means it will again open your document open document if i open see the document has been open reload means it will reload the documents means if you have made any change to the documents and if you want to load those changes you just can click reload document and publish means the content will be moved in content bus only but from the preview section to live section right so this content will be available on the live side right now if you see here now this is darkened preview is darkened so preview is available now if i click on this live nothing will happen why i'm clicking on this nothing will happen because content is not in live live section right and if i open this now it says previewed two minute ago but published never so let me publish this right it's a publish if i open now it's available it's available on live you see the dot live and even if i go to another browser where it's obviously live so it will be available everywhere done so this process is called 
content published here in am author we publish obviously from author to publish but here we publish content from our google drive to uh, to the content bus in edge delivery services again there are two sections preview and live so when we hit preview it moved to the preview section when we hit publish from that page then it moved to live sections we'll talk about that in detail in coming tutorials so now your site is ready and now the content is served from your google drive so now let's understand at a higher level when i hit domain you see i did not add any sub path here when you hit domain so from your repo your google drive the this document index index document is load right footer and navigation is load again these are the special documents so if you need to add update footer you add your document here uh, means your content here for the footer and navigation here by default this page is getting accessed when you hit url let's say you want to access let me create one more document here called home and again when you create new document because this folder has been shared with helix at the rate adobe.com every time when you create it will ask you option create and share so i will say yes and let's say it's a home home and so i say this is the home page let me add this to h1 save now if you see here again because this is not previewed so both are disabled even you click on preview or live nothing will happen so first you have to preview this document okay and one more thing each document is served as one page along with header and footer there are some exceptions we'll see that in detail in a different tutorial so i hit now let's say hit preview so what is the url you will see here it's a domain plus the name of that a document so the name of document was home so when you hit domain plus the name of document you will be able to hit that page here right and if i want to publish so that it can be available on the live site let's publish this so now it's available and now if you want to see the live if you hit now it will move you it will take you to the live url let me hit okay it's already live it moved to live right it's moved to live now let's understand the bulk operation i said bulk preview and bulk publish so when you open a document the whatever the options you see whatever actions you see here in this bar sidekick you will only see related to that page but if you want to perform this task or operation on multiple documents so what you have to do go in your google drive select your document let's say you select two documents as soon as you select multiple documents now you will see here two files has been selected now it's a preview now it's a publish so these are bulk operations so if i click preview it says are you sure you want to generate the preview of two files so now what happened it will generate preview of two files because i selected two and now you can either open urls or copy URLs. so let's say open and both has been opened now this is my this one this is my index and this is my home page url so i selected these two and both has been opened so you can play around this and you can see what are the options important option what i want to tell you is let me show you let me delete this home page now okay let me remove move to trash so if i open this home so my home page has been deleted now right it it my this content means the document home page document is not there in my google drive now but i did not unpublish this so what happened this is my obviously the index page come here so let me reload this first i have already done so this is the document actually the home page document was rendering this page so a page is not available so now you see two additional options here along with these three edit reload publish delete and unpublish 
right delete and unpublish so what is the difference between delete and unpublish this is really important and i'm sure that can be interview really good interview question so what happened let me open this url one more time here first then you will understand and let me open this live right it's available live and here it's a preview because it's a page so when i unpublish this let me unpublish okay it say it the page is no longer it has a source document so unpublishing it can't be undone yeah i understand it can be undone so sure unpublish i have done unpublish page successfully unpublished but when i reload the page is still there i can still see the page but when i go on the live and i reload this page is not available that's the catch so unpublish option unpublish page from the live content from the live site i will refer as a site okay live site and preview site so unpublish options unpublish content of that particular page from the live site but when you hit delete but it will not remove from the preview but when you say delete delete will remove from preview as well now if i say hit and it will be undone because the source has been removed let's say this one done it went back right preview even if i say i say hit now on the preview oh it may be cache yeah it was browser cache so when i say query parameter it said 404 so that's the difference unpublish and delete that is really good concept so now you should have been understand the concept of publish unpublish bulk publish uh, unpublish delete and the site kick if you have any question please add your comment thank you